Right, so this is another example problem only this time it involves an absolute value expression right here. We have that four minus the absolute value of x. And just as a rule of thumb, anytime you see a problem with an absolute value and definite integral, I would graph it just to kind of get a better idea of what you are looking at. So I'm gonna graph this really quick. All right, so the first point I'm going to graph is x equals zero. It's probably the easiest one. So you're just gonna get four minus zero when you, if you plug zero in here. So you're gonna end up with a four up here as your first points. And then I'm gonna do the endpoints, the x values for these endpoints for the limits of integration. So I'm gonna plug a four in there, you should get zero. Plug negative four in there, it's gonna be four minus the absolute value of negative four, which is four. So four minus four is zero. So you end up with something like this. In this case, it's gonna be linear. So I'm just gonna connect the dots like this. And so essentially for this problem, we are just looking for this area right here. Now, if you wanted, you don't even need to do any integration with this. You can just look at the look at this and say, oh, it's a it's a triangle. I can just do one half base times height. So I'm actually going to do that really quick. So the area here is just going to be one half times the base. Well, this whole part right here is the base from negative four to four. So that's eight. So base times height. Well, the height is this part right here, which is just four. All right, so you get 32 divided by two, so your area should be 16. So that's one way of doing it without really using any calculus. I guess you'd use a calculus to understand what the symbol meant for the indefinite integral, but really you were just using basic geometry. Now I'm gonna do this exact same problem, only this time I'm gonna use antiderivatives to figure out the area from negative four to four. All right, first thing I'm going to do is set up my integral from just from negative four, x equals negative four to zero. So I'm looking for this area right here that is colored in blue. All right, so we are doing the area from negative four to zero of that line. Now that line has a slope of one, so it's gonna be x, one x, plus whatever the y-intercept is, which in this case it's four, so it's just gonna be x plus four dx. It's gonna be that area plus this area over here, Okay, so we're going to add from 0 to 4 for this line right here. In this case, it's going to be a negative slope, so it's going to be negative x, negative 1 slope, I should say. And it's got the same y-intercept of 4. So you end up with two definite integrals that look like this. And from there, we're just going to do the antiderivative. You plug 0 in, you end up with 0, minus when you plug negative 4 in. So you end up with a minus a negative 8, I should have done. And then so this is going to be a plus. All right, plus, okay, now you put a four in over here, you're gonna get the same thing, only this time it'll be negative eight plus 16, which is just gonna be eight, so eight minus zero. Okay, and again, you can see we have eight here and eight here, eight plus eight is 16. And if you notice, your answer matches it over here. Okay, so that is a definite integral example problem using absolute values. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.